For this warm up, you can multiply by the reciprocal to eliminate the coefficient in front of the x. So, for example, here we can multiply by negative 5 fourths. It would be helpful to change this mixed number to an improper fraction. So, 3 times 4 is 12, plus 1 makes 13. Thirteen times negative five is negative sixty-five, and four times four is sixteen. So we can say that x is equal to negative sixty-five over sixteen. You could also change that into an improper fraction or a mixed number from an improper fraction if you would like to. The sum of a number, half of that number, and negative ten is negative eleven point five. We're going to combine like terms here. x plus half of an x is 1 and a half x. We're going to move the 10 over by adding 10 to both sides. So we still have 1.5x. Negative 11.5 plus 10 is negative 1.5. Then we'll divide both sides by positive 1.5. This gives us x and negative 1. In class, this next activity will be performed as a scavenger hunt where you will solve an equation and then search for its answer to answer the riddle at the bottom. You will write the letter and the equation that you solve next to it. We will begin with the letter Y card, which says 4 times X minus a fourth equals negative 17. Begin with the distributive property. This gives us 4X, and 4 times negative 1 fourth would be negative 1. Then we can move the 1 over. We still have 4x on the left. Negative 17 plus 1 is negative 16. Then divide by 4 on both sides, giving us x equals negative 4. The card that has the solution, negative 4 on it, is the card A. And A gives us the equation negative 0.5x plus 8 equals 2 and 1 half. I'm going to change these into decimals since I already have a decimal here. So 2 and a half is the same as 2.5. Move the numbers over with the other numbers. I still have negative 0.5x. And then 2 and a half minus 8 is negative 5 and a half. Divide both sides by negative 0.5. We get x equals positive 11. So using the answer, 11, we're going to look for the card that has the 11 on it. And that is the card K. K has the equation negative 3x plus 4.1 minus 2 and 4 fifths plus x equals negative 5. Again, because I have a decimal here, I want to change them into the same format. So I'm going to rewrite this and combine like terms. So I have negative 3x plus x is negative 2x plus 4.1 minus 2.8 equals negative 5. Now I can combine these pieces because they're in the same region. So 4.1 minus 2.8 is positive 1.3. I'm going to subtract that from both sides. 
That gives me negative 2x equals negative 6.3. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 2, and that gives me x equals negative 3, oh no, positive 3.15, which directs me to the card for D. We'll begin by distributing. 1 -sixth of 18, that's like cutting 18 into 6 parts, gives us 3. A sixth of negative 12 is negative 2. We need to move the 3 over here with the other number. So I have negative 2x and 12.2. Then we'll divide by negative 2 on both sides. So x equals negative 6.1. Find the card with the solution negative 6.1. That will take you to card E. Okay, so in our calculator, we can write down 1 times 2.5 divided by 5, which gives us 0.5x. Then we have 1 times negative 8 divided by 5 is negative 1.6. We need to move the 1.6 with the other set of numbers, so it eliminates that from the variable side. Negative 8 plus 1.6 is 6.4, but it's negative. Then we will divide by a half on both sides, and that gives us x is positive, no, negative. 12.8. Another way to write 0.8 is 4 fifths, or you can think of it as 8 tenths, which is reduced to 4 fifths. Negative 12 and 4 fifths is on the R card, and it has the equation 11 equals 6 times 2x minus 2 thirds. We have to distribute the 6. 6 times 2x is 12x, 6 times 2 is 12, 12 divided by 3 is 4, and it's negative. Move the 4 to the other side, so the variables are all left alone. Divide both sides by 12. x equals 15 twelfths which both of those are multiples of 3. It takes 5 threes to make 15 and 4 threes to make 12. So 5 fourths or 1.25. We have the letter B, negative 5x plus 6.7 minus 1 fifth minus x equals 3.3 .3 minus 1 tenth. I'm going to change this to a decimal and this to a decimal so I have them in the same format. Negative 5x and negative x makes negative 6x. 6 1 fifth is the same as 0 0.2. One tenth is the same as 0 0.1. So we can combine these now. 6.7 and negative 0 0.2 are 6.5. 3.3 minus 0 0.1 is 3.2. Then I can subtract the 
and that's negative 3.3. Divide by negative 6 on both sides. And x is 0 0.55. So then we have an O card, 43 and 2 thirds, negative 7, x minus 1 seventh, plus 2 thirds. We'll begin by distributing that negative 7. We're also going to change this mixed number to an improper fraction. So 43 times 3 plus 2 is 131 over 3. Negative 7 times x is negative 7x. Negative 7 times negative 1 seventh is positive 1 plus the 2 thirds at the end. Well, 1 and 2 thirds is the same as 5 thirds. We will remove the 5 thirds. So I have negative 7x remaining on the right side. 131 minus the 5 is 126 over 3, which can be rewritten as a whole number, 42. And then we'll divide both sides by negative 7 and 42 divided by negative 7 is negative 6. Our letters were Y, A, K, D, E, R, B, and O. I have keys, but no locks. I have space, but no rooms. You can enter, but you can't go outside. What am I? It is a key board. Check back in for the lesson 15 video.